Hi, welcome to Bookish Road Trip, the May Pulpwood Queens Recommends video with Kathy L. Murphy, who is the CEO of the International Pulpwood Queens and Timber Guys Reading Nation, which is the largest book club in the world with over 800 chapters. Kathy, tell us, what do you have to recommend for May? Well, we are starting out with a very titillating book. It's called A Boob's <laughs> Life, How Americans' Obsession Shaped Me and You by Leslie Lear. Now, do not judge a book just by the cover. Every man and woman should read this book because it's really about how here in America, I know you're going to think this is crazy, but so many things in our world are affected by the shape and the way women's breasts are um, um, revealed. I cannot recommend this book enough to anybody who has ever had um, a remark made to them about anything to do with their boobs, anything to do with breast cancer, anything, everything is covered. It's so comprehensive of this book. Uh, she has really done a research and I, absolutely i love it it's got things like emotional abuse where to call for help it's got resources chemo chick i mean she has covered everything but the most exciting news of all about half of the books that we pick every year go on to film option and this has this has gone on to hbo it's going to be a series and it's going to star Salma Hayek. So she's going to be on everything from Good Morning America. She's been featured in People Magazine. Leslie is everywhere. I have um, featured her on uh, my uh, Kathy L. Murphy channel on YouTube. And we'll have her on again when this series starts for my book and film club. But A Boob's Life, check it out. It's a great, great read. Next up, we have... Besides, you know, the book of the month, we now have International Reads of the Month. And this one is really wonderful. It's called Dreaming in the Time of Dragons. It's by G. Claire. And I cannot go on enough about this book. For those who like fantasy, I mean, I totally got lost in Game of Thrones and, and Outlander and time travel. And this is, I'm not sure if it's set in, in Scotland or Ireland, but it's that mindset you are going to fall in love but I, I just have to read this last little bit it says when is a dragon not a dragon when is a prince not a prince when do you burn evidence of your royalty and run disguised as a boy uh this is a family read everybody should get this this during the times of covid we need books like this something that you can have for the whole family to share great read aloud highly recommend it Okay. Oh, the pulpwood queen. Think about that. What is pulpwood? Pulpwood is what is um, made from paper to use into everything from construction materials to building products. But I have a love affair with trees. And this book, Greenwood, a novel, Michael Christie, He's the author, If I Fall, If I Die. I cannot tell you how in love I am with this book. Um, it's a novel and it is absolutely wonderful. It's a generational saga. And I think it's set in Canada. I think you're gonna fall in love. And I'm gonna give a little hint. For 2022, I'm reading The Overstory by Richard Powers, which is another novel about trees. If it's about trees, I live in a forest, you're going to hear all about it. But it's a tome, but you will not be able to put it down. Greenwood by Michael Christie. Next up, I rediscovered poetry many years ago when I had a wonderful author by the name of Ron Rash, who teaches Appalachian Studies and Poetry in... Um, uh, in Kentucky, and he has been one of my favorite authors in the world. And so I started reading poetry. I never understood it until he, he sent me uh, some of his books, and I've started paying attention. And I want to bring attention to our National Poet Laureate, Joy Harjo. Uh, she's the Poet Laureate of the United States, and she has a new memoir out that you have to read. Uh, and she has a book called An American Sunrise Poems, and she's Native American. 
and I am in love with these books. I'm trying to now work poetry into our reading every year. And these are just a few of the poetry books that I picked this year, but our National Poet Laureate, uh, Joy Harjo, check them out. Great gift books, everybody. These would be great to give out for holiday. And last, I want to mention Joe Palmer. Um, people oftentimes hear the Pulpit Queens and they think that we only read women's books. This is not true. We read all genres both men and women and everything in between. Joe Palmer has written a book called The Mariner's Tale. And um, he lives in Florida. It is absolutely one of, one of those books that uh, this would be a great one to share with the guy in your life, uh, the, your husband or whatever, but I loved it. I hope you all will read Joe's book. Uh, it's a novel and a uh, great cover. Just wonderful reads, all genres, both men and women. The only thing we do not read is erotica. I have so many young people in my book club and I have so many people of the above 80 generation. We just try to keep away from books that are, you know, every once in a while I push the envelope, but I do it only because the story is so good it lends to the story. So. Thank you for joining me for our May reads, and I look forward to sharing more of them. Go to thepulpitwithqueens.com, and if you do sign up to become a member now, you will get a copy of Think Like a Monk, our January International Book Club read. I can't thank you, Mary, enough for bookish road trips. Your blog that you have is everything that I believe in. I have extreme wanderlust, so I go to you every day. And your book is on our list too. So we're very excited about this wonderful partnership that we're doing. Yes, I'm so glad that we can collaborate and share great books with lots of readers. So thanks again for your time and coming and telling us all about these wonderful books. And um, Kathy, you have two books yourself. Yes, I do. <laughs> Somewhere there. I, 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 I'm springing this on you. You weren't expecting I me to do. mention it. <laughs> I, have, I have the Pulp of Queen's Tear, uh, Tear Wearing Book Sharing Guide to Life, which is my story about how books save me. And it's chock full of reading lists. In fact, it was endorsed by the Texas Library Association. I was the closing speaker at their event. And I have the Pulpwood Queens Celebrate 20 Years, which is 70 of my authors talking about reading the importance of book club and our convention. And I will announce that 2022, I'm madly at work on my next memoir. It's called The Pulpwood Queen Goes Back to School. And I hope you all are ready for it because I'm telling all in this book. Uh -oh. Yes, I am. <laughs> I've decided that uh, I've been home for two years pondering how much do I tell and I thought the truth will set you free. Now, as we all know, um, our, a memoir is a story of our memories and we don't always get things right, but I, I've been sharing this with other people and it's what I remember and it's what I love and it's why we need to share our story. So I hope everybody will look forward to that and we'll have it at our 2022 Girlfriend Weekend of which you are going to have a panel next year. So yeah. I'm so excited that, that we're going to have Bookish Road Trips as a panel for our week-long event, which is um, the week of Martin Luther King uh, Jr. week. So we'll We'll start on a Monday and end on Martin Luther King Day. So I think it's January 10th through the 16th. Okay. I'll have to check that again, but um, we're going to be starting working on that now too. So thank you for mentioning that. Thank you so much. And I have to tell you, I'm going to mention one more thing. My new executive director, Mandy Haynes, is an author. And if you haven't read Walking the Wrong Way Home, and Sharp as a super Serpent's Tooth. These are short story collections. They're comparing her to Eudora Welty. You all, she is getting so many great reviews. This is a writer to watch and she's our executive director. So please check out her books too. And thank you for having me on your show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kathy. That was great. <laughs>